What's up guys, in this video we're going to talk about which one is better Air impact or electrical uh, I'm not going to talk about power, electrical with a power supply uh, I know this in the market but uh, I believe like most people used air powered ones or they go to their battery powered ones um, First we're going to start with the air part ones uh, I feel like since it's like the old school way, I mean, air impact guns been around for like God knows how long. You know, they're always, you know, probably nine times out of ten when you go to a garage or whatever, people use them, whether it's for basic use for tyres or even like for whatever work they're doing on the vehicle. It's just, I would say, it's a really good investment and really makes your life easier. Uh, I'm not going to go really in detail, this is a C CP um, Chicago Pneumatic um, Air Impact one This is a stubby one, uh, obviously there's bigger bigger sizes But as like of, uh, as for the point of view of investing in an air gun It depends on what situation you're in If you're in a shop and then obviously Nine times out of ten, if not ten times out of ten, all shops have a compressor, so you're gonna have a limited supply of uh, pressurized air. So, you know, you, you you got your gun, you got an air hose, you plug it in, and then you carry on with work. Uh, good thing about these is uh, they're a lot cheaper. Not particularly this one, in general, air guns. They're a lot cheaper than um, electric ones. I mean, you can get one for like, um, I would say about £100 or so. You're looking to get like a decent one or a good one. Uh, I think I roughly got this about £130. I can't remember exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, okay, this is a stubby one. You can get like a um, proper size one. But yeah, you're looking at about 100 150 quid. You can get a decent one and then crack on with the job. Um, another advantage these ones have is uh, speed, because obviously they're driven uh, by pressurized air. Obviously, when you pull, you press the trigger, the power they develop compared to the battery-powered ones is a lot more. Uh, so yeah, if you have like some ball joints or whatever, and then you're trying to gun them off. This will do a better job than this, although this particularly has more power The impact like the speed you can't compare it with an air powered one uh, Another major advantage I feel like Because uh, I use this daily. I, re I really use this. I really like I use this only when like this is not powerful enough because I don't have a bigger air gun than this. I haven't invested one in yet Main thing about the the main advantage on this is the light, is the weight. This is way lighter than holding this around and then working on the car. Um, you know, it just feels a lot like I would say this weighs about three times as this much. I mean, okay, even if you had like a proper uh, size air gun, still it will weigh less than any battery. Uh, powered one um, Another advantage I was gonna mention but it's not really uh, It doesn't count as much because um, Nowadays uh, with Milwaukee as well. They have uh, come out with some small impact um, Impact guns uh, on the M12 uh, version So I was gonna say yeah with the stubby ones, you know that you can get into some tight spaces um, but I think yeah, Milwaukee. Although I haven't bought one, I've seen I've seen them. Uh, yeah, them small stubby ones Milwaukee um, uh, made is like they're really nice. They work with the battery with an M12 battery. You know they're like compatible with these like same as these. So I want to say like that's an advantage overall because now like. Uh, technology advances so we're getting like small electric uh, guns that are still powerful um, Bad things about this like I said in the beginning if you work in a shop then you're gonna have a compressor That's no problem 
if you're a DIYer or you know you're working at home uh, unless you have a compressor you know you're gonna be in problem because with this without a compressor is basically useless um, overall if you were to um, think about getting one I mean comparing to get one of these plus a compressor to like for it to be useful compared to this you said the wire you might as well go with these they're pretty good nowadays and um, even the batteries they last longer than like before before they used to like last like a couple of days now with the newer ones especially the red lithium batteries Milwaukee has produced I mean this thing I'll, uh, I can't remember when the last time I charge it although I use it every now and then um, another disadvantage I would say with uh, air impact guns is um, obviously when you got your airline sometimes you want to get into some spots you can't really because you got the airline you know like blocking your way or because obviously airline can bend so much so yeah it kind of gets in the way sometimes and you know it's sometimes annoying to be honest um, now let's move to the electric ones uh, like I said I'm not going to talk about power supply ones because uh, the like the restrictions are pretty similar to like uh, air air ones but I'll do I am going to talk about the battery power ones now um, overall I would say like, like I said technology advances this is by all means a pretty powerful gun I think uh, like I think it's about 1800 newton meters or whatever obviously it's uh, I would say it's the big daddy like top of like uh, the most powerful gun I think Milwaukee made so far if not I think they made another one they're gonna make the third gen or whatever I'm not really sure I haven't checked that but the thing I like about this is portable so uh, there's no need for an air hose or like oh some you know one of your colleagues is using the air hose and you need to wait or whatever you just literally grab it boom crack on with the job you know you know whether it's like taking wheels off or whatever doing suspension work you know um, like I said this is like uh, guns nowadays they're becoming uh, electric guns nowadays are becoming more and more powerful so I wouldn't say that's necessarily an issue um, but it does uh, overall has some disadvantages as well uh, like I mentioned before price wise I mean you can get one of them like in I don't know like a hundred hundred and fifty quid uh, this one you look in you know if you want to get like a good one uh, I think I spend on this Milwaukee like 500 around 500 so yeah they're a bit more pricey they're worth it I'll be honest having having one they're worth it but yeah obviously if you low on cash or like tight budget you might consider that like you know saving a little bit more than you know getting like a I don't know like a halfway decent one and then power is not enough uh, another thing I want to mention about this obviously because they're powered uh, battery powered so you're probably gonna have to buy another battery if you want to keep using the gun um, is the because it has a battery you need to have a charge as well obviously and that could be um, that is going to take some space out of your toolbox so obviously if you have like limited space on your toolbox uh, obviously with this one you just put that in there it takes so much space if it's in a powered uh, battery powered one uh, obviously you're going to have the gun you're going to have the, maybe one or two more batteries uh, you're going to have the charger so it's going to take more space in your toolbox and you know think okay I'm gonna get this one but they don't really take into consideration the amount of space they have in their box and they might end up like you know have to buy like another bigger box uh, at the end of the day I wouldn't say one is better than the other one uh, each one has its place I personally um, use uh, air powered ones uh, I'm kind of like old school um, also, like I feel like the noise, like when you get from air guns, sounds like a lot cooler than the electric ones. I don't know. It's just it's my opinion. Um, but yeah, if you if you go like a compressor and then 
Uh, like if you work in a garage, you got a compressor and then you like you're low on budget, but you want to invest in some impact gun. I would say go for the air, air powered ones. Uh, if you do a wire or you know you're gonna have like a backup one in case the compressor like breaks or for whatever reason I would say in the future yeah invest in um, battery powered one uh, not necessarily Milwaukee there's other ones out there as well like the wall snap on you know but at the end of the day is your own personal preference um, I've invested in Milwaukee because uh, I'm real happy with all the products because uh, I've got a torch, I've got some other smaller impact guns, I'm real happy with it and you know that's just that's my own personal taste um, that was the video guys uh, if you like the video make sure to like the video Yeah, drop a comment below let me know what you think if you like um, prefer air ones or battery ones and uh, if you're not a subscriber make sure to subscribe and have a nice day